Good to meet Sally. Good to see you. Today we will study together lesson number three, uh, lesson number four, the uh, grammar part. Before that, I will review the lesson number three of our reading passages. Then can we share this part? Okay. The giraffe. Yes, the last time that we've studied together about the giraffe family, that we will make a mind map about giraffe family today. Okay, then ready? Then we can listen and we can shadow. Ready, start. From Namibia. They live there because of the giraffes. The fact all bears are how far parents with the giraffes. We use photos to see which giraffes are there. No, many giraffes because they don't have different spots. Our family is from different places. My dad is from Australia and my mom is from Germany. Molly, nine years are. Giraffes are cool. They are tall and their colors are beautiful. I love their soft noses. Mountain is the name of my favorite giraffe. I like living here. I um, don't see our grandparents, uncles and aunts, cousins in Germany and Australia very often. See, in this way, then we can practice sh shadowing. Shadowing means that with, a, uh, with the audio club, then we can follow the sound without looking at the script, right? In this way, then you can improve a lot. Okay, then next moment. Then depend on our information from the passage, then we will make some mind map today. Okay, the mind map, uh, the giraffe family in Namibia. Okay. Then last time, then I think that you made your uh, script at an essay writing about the giraffes. Good job, you did very well, I saw it. Okay, then uh, today, then we can practice the mind mapping from the passages. Okay, then what is the first paragraph's idea? Then it's about a giraffe family. Okay, then a family, uh, not, not a giraffe family, a family, uh, there is a family uh, in Namibia to study giraffes. Okay, then in this way, then we need to choose the topic. Then after that, then we can, um, then we can make some outlining for the first paragraph. Okay, the family. Okay, then, then we can write down the short, information about their ideas. Okay, then first of all, then we learned about the where they are. Okay, then you can write down, they live in Namibia, in Africa. Okay, there are four family members. Their parents are experts. Okay, then you write experts. experts parents okay then can you remember their names okay then julian father julian stephanie and luca the son and molly the daughter Okay. Why do they go there? Why do they live in Namibia in Africa? Then they live in there uh, because to study giraffes. And to study and protect giraffes. Okay, then how about the second paragraph? What is the second paragraph? It's about the Lucas story, right? Luca, then their son. And how old is he? That he is 12 years old. Okay. Then, then what did he say? Then first of all, then he helped. 
helps his parents with giraffes. And he told us that, that he could distinguish giraffes and giraffes. How, how could he distinguish giraffes and giraffes? That is, uh, that he used photo to distinguish giraffes. Because uh, that is uh, that is the abbreviation of because because then they have her different thoughts and then he told us about their father and mother's country they are not born in Namibia they are from another country okay what is it okay that from where? Australia, that's right, Australia. And mom is from where? Yes, that's right, Germany. Okay, that's right, good job. Okay, then how about the third paragraph? How about the third paragraph? Then it's about Molly's story. Okay, Molly, who is Molly? Yes, that's right, their little daughter. Okay, then daughter. Molly. How old is she? How old is she? She is nine years old. Yes, that's right. Nine years old. And this is a kind of abbreviation of years. Okay. Then how about the next one? Okay. Molly likes giraffes a lot. Okay. Why? Because they're so beautiful, tall, beautiful. Beautiful, and they have, mm, yes, it's fine, soft noses. Soft noses. Yes, it's right. Uh, they share that they have soft noses. That's the reason she likes them. Okay, then, uh, then can you remember the, uh, can you remember the name of her favorite giraffe? Okay, then that is Melvin. Okay, good, good job. Oh, uh, then, then she talks about bad things to live in Namibia. What is it? It is, yes, it's fine not to see their relatives. Such as her parents, grandparents, and uncle and aunt, and, and cousins. Okay, then in this way, then we can write down some mind map, uh, mapping. Uh, then we can write down some ideas about this, then reading passages in your mind mapping book, the first page. Then you can find out those kinds of Venn diagrams. Okay, then the next, uh, then actually last class that we did, we wrote down some script. It is a kind of presentation script. Okay, then it's about a family uh, who live in Namibia in Africa. Okay, then uh, we practice this uh, script. Before you make your presentation, uh, usually you need to write down your script. And with the corrected script, then if you practice, then you will not shivering. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Practice makes you perfect. Okay, so before you start your presentation, then you need to make some introduction part. Okay, then like this, this is a kind of example. Okay, hello. My name is blah, blah, blah. My name is blah, blah, blah from Serpents. Today, I will introduce about a family in Namibia. Africa. Then 
you can write down about their story with your words that is called uh, uh, paraphrasing, something like that. Okay, then believe. Uh, okay, Namibia. Okay, something like that. They are, uh, okay, there are four members in their family. Julian, Julian, Stephanie, okay, their parents, Julian, Stephanie, are Hiram experts. They live there to study and protect giraffes. Yes, they are in danger. Okay, ah, oh, then I forgot about their Dover and Molly and son, Luca. And they have, they have, one, they have one son, Luca, and one daughter, Molly. Let's start their story. First, why do they live in Namibia? They live there to study and protect giraffes because they are in danger. Second, then Luca helps his parents with giraffes and he can tell us, uh, he can tell giraffes. Tell, tell means distinguish giraffes. Wait, poros. Hands, they have four different spots. Taurus and his parents are from other countries. His dad is from Australia. His mom is from is from Germany. All right. Then Molly tells about her life. Okay, then she likes giraffes a lot. A lot because giraffes are tall and beautiful. 
giraffes have? Oh, no, this. Right. The name of the name of uh, her favorite giraffe is Melvin. Hmm. This is a story about a family who live in. Namibia in Africa. Thank you for listening. In this way, then you can make your own script that at your home, then if you type it out, your script, then you can make it as a file and you can send it, send it to me through Kakao Talk. Then your title needed to be um, this form, then like this, then you need to write down your name, Luca, and you need to write down your title, uh, family in Namibia. Namibia and script. In this way, then you need to make your title when you save your file at your computer. Okay, then after that, then we study together. Uh, let's go back uh, to the book. Uh, then we study together. Lesson number four, the grammar part. Okay, then, then we can listen at this part. Can you listen? Okay. Mm. Can I, uh, okay, uh, the computer has some problem. <laughs> okay, <laughs> can you wait for a second? Can you wait? Okay, then, then we can listen this part. Uh, okay, can you wait for a second? I need to share the sound too. Luca is my brother. Your brother okay. is 12. So when you listen, then just shed, just follow it, follow the sound. Let's shadow. His cousins are in Australia. Her favorite giraffe is Melvin. Our parents are Our giraffe experts. experts. Their grandparents', grandparents house, house is in Germany. In Germany. Yes, that's right. Then we will study together about some possessive noun. Okay. Then my, your, his, her, our, their. Then those kinds of words are called the possessive nouns. Okay. The possessive noun is used to wait a noun together. Okay. Like this. Then you need to think about the writers or speakers because the different the writers or speakers, you need to exchange the form of the possessive nouns like your or our. Okay, then let's practice together. Number two. Number two. Okay, come here. Luca, Luca and blah, blah, blah are in Namibia. Then what can be the answer? You can choose among these answers. That he's our, your. Okay, Luca is a boy, so we need to say his. Yes, that's right. Okay, then how about number two? Then her, his, their name is Molly. Okay, then, then this is a Luca's story, so we need to choose his. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, that's right. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, this is my mistake. Sorry for that. This is not the Luca's story. Then, then, uh, then every case just are different one. Okay, so then we can use this one. Her name is Molly. Her name is Molly because her name is Molly because Molly is a girl. Because Molly is a girl. Okay, then how about number three? Then my dear, your blah, blah, blah. Father is from Australia. Okay, then, then from Australia, then who? 
who is from Australia, their father, right? So then you need to write down, you need to make circle, their father, their father is from Australia. Good, good job. And number four, then like I said, blah, 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 sister is nine. When is sad that he will explain about him. Uh, so then you need to write down, then my sister is nine. My sister is nine. And number five, can you wait for a second? Okay. Then number five, Luca oh, and Molly. Okay. Then Luca and Molly said, okay, then blah, 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 parents help the refs. Okay. Then in his story, then Luca said about his idea. Mm -hmm. So we need to choose our. Yes, that's right. So can you wait for a second? Then the reason why I turn off uh, is, yes, thank you. Then the number five. Luca and Molly said our parents help giraffes. Okay, then I have a number six. What about you, right? Uh, what are blah, 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 favorite animals? In this, in this case, then actually the speaker asks you, then about you, so you need to use your, okay. Then what about you? What are your favorite animals? Good, good job, okay. Then after that. Mm -hmm. Then we can practice this one. Then think and write. What's the name of blah, blah, blah? Then you can use this question form like this. What's the name of your mother? Then you can say, then her name is Stephanie. In this way, you can say, then, then what's the name of your three best friends? Then you can say, my three uh, my three best friends need, uh, okay, then in this case, then you need to say it like this. The name of my three best friends are, Molly, Julie, and Kelly, <laughs> okay, this way. Then you need to add the name of my three best friends, the name of my three best friends, something like that, okay. Then how about the third question? Then what's the name of your favorite singer? Then when you say about your answer, you need to say, then the name of my favorite singer is BTS or Blackpink, something like that, got it? Okay, then how about the next, Next question, then what's the name of your favorite soccer player? Okay, then, then you can say the name of my favorite soccer player is blah, blah, blah. Got it? Okay, then how about the last question? Then what's the name of your teddy bear? Teddy bear is a dar bear, dar bear, dar bear. Okay, <laughs> the floppy. Okay, then you can say the name of my teddy bear is. Julie, <laughs> in this way, then you can introduce about your, uh, the, your life and your story and your information. Good job. And then we can go to the next part. Then it is a kinds of workbook. Then we'll serve our workbook, lesson number four, grammatical idea together. Then, then can I make it bigger? Okay, then. I think there is some advertisement competition between two Jews, okay? Then they will talk about this. Then our Jew is best, your Jew is worst, <laughs> okay? It's the worst in this way. Then they compete with each other in their advertisement. Okay, then how about, let's start to check the answers together. Okay, then I will use the highlighter. Then let's use it. Then let's serve it together. Welcome to Green Park Jew. Okay, then our animals are great. They show off the good things of their juice, right? Okay, then the not like red wood Jew. Okay, oh, then blah, 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 animals aren't great. Then there is a bad points, right? So then you can choose there, there. Their animals aren't great, so don't go there. <laughs> in this way, they wanted to say. Okay, then fish is very ugly. That is the bad aspects, right? So their fish is very ugly. <laughs> you can say this way. <laughs> okay, and they only have one fish. Okay, then we have a lot, but we have a lot. Then that is the good aspects of their then green part too. Okay, then. 
So you can say the good things about that green part too, okay, that we have a lot. When you use we as subject, then we need to choose our, okay, that we have a lot and our fish are beautiful, okay. Then look at our snake, then it is very big and you can touch it. <laughs> I think there's no poison, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, then how about the next column? Then it's about the red, green, uh, red uju, red uju. Okay, then welcome to red uju. Okay, they will talk about their good things about their juice and, and also bad things about other juice. Okay, then blah, blah, blah is fantastic. Good things, then, then you need to say our. Our juice is fantastic. Then, oh, not this, not this. Uh, uh, stop it, stop it. <laughs> This computer is weird. Wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. Okay. Then then our Jew is fantastic. Then blah blah. Jew only has one snake and it's not scary. Okay. Then this is a good thing. They wanted to say this is good. So then you need to choose our. Okay, can you wait for a second? They wanted to show off. Oh, sorry. They wanted to show off their good things. So then you can you can see, our Jew only has one snake and it's not scary. <laughs> okay. But then if you use but, then you need to say the opposite idea. So then if you say the good things and after but, you need to use bad things. So but, their snakes are very scary. Then their fish are small. In this way, then you can exchange, you can introduce about the exchange it and opposite ideas. Okay, and also you will find out but again. Okay, then but blah 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 is very very big. That that is the good aspects. Then they wanted to show up their good things. So you need to say but our fish is very very big. Got it? This is a kind of competitive, then advertisement. <laughs> okay, and how about the next one? Um, okay. Then how about the next one? Then question number two. Then we can think about uh, that we, we need to practice uh, the possessive ideas. Okay. Then is that my burger? Then uh, when you are in uh, uh, when you are in Burger King. Okay. Then you can practice this like that with your friends or with your siblings. Okay, is that my burger? No, it isn't. That's my burger. Do not touch it. In this way, you can say, got it? Okay, then how about number two? Okay, then it is a kind of introduction with each other. Then what's odd? Then you need to you need to look at their pointing finger. Okay, then they're pointing with each other, their uh, daughters or sons. Okay, then what's blah, blah, blah name? Louis, okay. Then what's blah, 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 blah name? Valentina, okay. Then what's boy's name? So you need to see what's his name. Then Louis, then what's her name? Because that is the daughter's name. Okay, so Valentina, okay. Then how about number three? Then look, then the clue is white, clue is white. Look, then Anna said the pointing finger, pointing finger, a girl said that with her pointed finger. Okay, look, blah, 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 bikes are white. Okay, the white bikes, okay, the, the white bikes are girls' bikes. So then, then we can see, then look, that our bikes are white, but the boys' bikes are black. Then for the case, then the speaker is a girl. So you need to say, their, their bikes are black. Because then when you say about the plural nouns, then you need to use their. Then how about number, uh, how about number four? Then what, where are blah, blah, blah guys from? Okay, then this is a conversation between two people. They are very close with each other. So you can use your or our. Got it? Okay, then. Where are your kites from? Because the girl said like this. They're from, then the boys can talk about their kites. So they're from our grandparents, our grandparents, because they explain about their kites. Got it? So when they said to the other person, the very close one, then they can say our 
our kites. Got it? Okay. In this way, then you can serve your questions in your workbook. Good job today. Then I will expect your presentation forms in Google presentation file. Then, uh, like I uh, like I sent you the files about your uh, email address and the link of the Google presentation. Then, then you can give it to them. <laughs> then after you finish and after you send it to me through Google email, then you can type it out. Then I'm teacher, I'm done. My, uh, my presentation has been done. In this way, you can type out and also then you can send it to me then in my Kakao Talk class talk. Got it? Okay, good job today and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.